This exhibition is titled Ergo Sum, A Crow A Day. The artist's mother was diagnosed with dementia and as she declined, um, the artist of course was affected by this and she decided to produce A Crow A Day. So, so this exhibition is 365 paintings of crows um, as a deliberate way to mark time because her mother had uh, seemed to lose it. She had lost her sense of time. The artist developed this project to really grieve the loss of her mother. Um, but the works are sometimes really bright and sunny, whimsical, and um, even how she's positioned the crows um, can be really lighthearted. And she wanted to remember her mother as she once was, and she also wanted to have this be a celebration of life. One in particular that I really like is one where the crow is wearing a kilt. And this was really personal to her because it was one of her mother's favorite pieces of clothing. You'll notice in this series that she incorporates some small black holes in the work uh, next to some of the crows. And these holes were inspired by the Acme manhole um, that's in a lot of cartoons that she watched as a child. Some of the panels include text. Some of them are, are words, and some of them are jumbled letters. Uh, language became broken down for the artist's mother over time, and she eventually was completely nonverbal. Um, it, was, it was difficult to see her in that way uh, because she was such a communicator uh, before her decline. One of them in particular has the word vacancy. And as her mother was declining and she would visit her, um, as she walked to the facility where her mother was staying, um, she passed by a motel called the Yvonne Motel. And that was her mother's name. So she saw that coincidence, uh, saw the vacancy sign, um, and saw a related element there because of her mother's decline um, in the word vacancy. The artist saw this process as cathartic as she went along. Um, I do think there was relief when she finished the project. Um, it was a, a huge uh, amount of time and, and effort to do this, and she was a full-time professor at the time. You know, she was producing other work as well. So I think just the arduous nature of the project of creating each panel and then um, painting them um, was, a, was a big project for her. But I think she really got a lot out of it. Um, I think it was helpful to her, and I think it's resonated with so many people over the years because so many people um, have been affected by a loved one with dementia. And so it really resonates with a lot of people.